Handy is already begging Sean <laughs> not to break up with her sister. <laughs> What's happening to these two? Eh? Please, oh, this is our love story. You guys should not just come and stop and spoil this love story that you guys started. The stronger ship, you guys, should not just... Well, you guys, you're back on to Spicy Updates with Lovely Aunt. I hope you guys are doing okay. Do not forget to like the video. Be fine. Stay safe, okay? And subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. You guys... You see, this season <laughs> is going to give birth to a whole lot of things. Well, I am not surprised because even before the show started, I think I made a video where I, where I said this housemates coming have diverse socioeconomic background, diverse cultural background, diverse um whatever you can name it, religious background whatsoever, okay, upbringing and all that. Now, coming to the issue of Sean and Wani. Now, it's beginning to make more sense to me. You know, when this fight or whatever happened, I didn't get to see it too. I don't know if you guys have the video. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Probably last night it happened. But what really uh, brought us to, brought our attention to it was when Handy was actually shown, talking to Sean about the whole situation. Because you guys know, last night, Oyeka went to um, Soj and Tofa's bed. You know, when she laid down on that bed, she was like, ah, this whole room is just somehow, there is no God in this room. You guys don't pray. You know, they just laughed about it. She said, she's going to change the whole thing. So next thing, she asked Sean. He said, Sean, uh-uh, this one, you're sleeping alone today. So I was not like, uh, uh, why is Sean sleeping alone? Or is he trying to like, you know, stay more to closer to his partner now? Is he trying to like detach himself from, from Wani? Is he trying to like, you know, play the game now and be more focused with his partner? That, that whole thing was just ringing in my head. If I said I was going to bring you guys that gist and because Onyeka is actually like coming up again, trying to be herself, okay? And I love the the siblingship between Onyeka, Suj, and Tofa. I never knew something actually happened because I didn't watch the parts where all these things happened. You know, probably the camera didn't show it or it was when Wani now came. Now, before I go into what um, Handy was saying to Sean and all that, there is something I want to say. In my little research, Sean is, um, is a Nigerian from Edo State and Edo State is from the eastern part of Edo State, from his name, Sean Okoji. The eastern part of Edo State, their men are not the type that worship women at all. Their men are the type. In fact, there are some of their men that feel like a woman is supposed to worship their husband. They have a whole lot of cultural, traditional practices that are, like there are so many things their married women don't do. There are so many things men don't tolerate. So, because ordinarily, um, Wani has been a sweet friend to Sean. She has been cooking. She has been helping him out, washing for him, making his bed. Both of them have been lovely. She has been treating him so well, giving all the love that she can. Why, you know, a whole lot of us even think, ah, you're doing too much now. Why don't you just take a break, you know? Because I'm just wondering why uh, bring food to me. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't just be any pr a problem. Even as married couples, it shouldn't be a problem. Anybody can do anything as long as you love your partner. Now, um... We saw a clip of Handy, you know, begging Sean, trying to explain the whole thing, that it was just a joke, her sister didn't mean it, Sean was cooking yesterday, and Sean has said that he had included her, she, the way she was like, cook for me, you know, but he also included her in the food he's making, you know, she just made a joke that, um, Sadi's, her S, is it Sadi, her S, um, food is sweeter that was just Indomie, is sweeter, and he brings it to her, and it was just a joke, and it's like, According to what Sean was saying in the explanation, it seems Wani kept, you know, saying it over and over again. So Sean was like, if it's just a joke, at least you say it once, he dies, and she just kept saying it, and it actually made him feel bad. And I think since then, there's been this face-off between the both of them. Two stubborn heads. This one is acting stubborn. This one is acting stubborn. Only for the sister, a caring sister, to go and speak to Sean on the sister's behalf. And like I've just been watching them since this diary section thing. They are not even vibing with him. Of course, Handy had to like support her sister. Say with her sister, Wani is not talking to Sean. Um, what's her name? Handy is not talking to Sean. 
now guys you have to watch the end of this video because there are so many things i want to talk about in this video coming to where um sean is from their men are that way so it could be that they are not the type that worship women or they are not the type that ah if i start it i'm not going to end it you know no matter where even if you grew up in the uk all those small small things may be ringing in their head but from the the names of his siblings i think probably his mom is a different tribe from the dad i think the mom is not from the same tribe i just had to check all these things because i've heard some things about them you know so now remember there was a day sean was say, telling suge that was when suge was talking about you know victoria that he is um he grew up with his sister being suge so that is why he can really understand her know how to talk to another sean, sean was like he has sisters but he didn't grow up with them so suge was like yeah based on your background so he, he's the type that grew up with guys maybe he's the type that believes that ah i'm not supposed to like be probably he doesn't really know how to treat him right or there are some things, ah, why should you expect me to, I should bring food for you, you know, some men are like that, even if you're serving them, worshipping them, but they can't do it for you, maybe that's this person, I think it would take a whole lot of um, effective communication, um, you know, consistent, um, what do you call it now, conversation, with regards to that, okay, this is my own analysis okay about this whole situation because i don't want to start blaming sean because you have to know people why people behave the way they do before you start laying, laying blame on them and you guys I actually made a video one time telling you guys that sean is a scorpio you guys need to read a lot about them they are very difficult to deal with very very if you're really good at zodiac just or you go and check scorpio men and see how they are they can be very sweet but sometimes you you will be like what is wrong with this person sometimes they may appear insensitive so you just have to like study them understand them so Handy was just like trying to you know that there is a way somebody will say something to you you just like you know try to amplify it or make it blow out of proportion that if that was not what her sister meant maybe at that time the the way sean was at that time or you know there is a way a condition of you know how you be something that is meant to be a joke may actually depends on your mood on what the person is going through at that time one something that is supposed to be a joke might actually turn out to be something very serious and sean take it seriously because the way he was even talking shaking his head like oh, no 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 i can't take this is this age but his expression and you know his gestures the way he was shaking his head and and i said okay Andy has begged now for you not to break up at least make up with the sister but if you're not making up that's your own then another reason may be you can see that sean is trying his best to come close to victoria i don't know how many of you guys have seen the interview um toyo c and dami's interview toyo c said a lot if I, I just want to put that in a separate video toyo c spilled a lot how sean came to ruti how sean told ruti that mm, it's not serious what he has with wani so you don't even know if it's genuine it was just yesterday when he was saying oh they have the strongest sheep he's genuine he's nice but we don't just have to use only this to conclude because even as a couple they have to have their their own uh, differences and you know sometimes trouble here and there okay just like the, the kelly ray and cassie yesterday so these are things that are meant to happen but is their ability to deal with it and the way the ability to manage it effectively i think that's the word yeah because don't tell me conflicts are not going to arise definitely and the things that may even cause conflicts are just little thing that does not make sense ah why aren't you meant to bring it for me why aren't you meant to do this or you like you know the way that one plays now so to her is nothing oh to her i'm talking to my man after i've been doing it for him why can't you you know the way they've been they've really bonded so well so like ah we are free we are, but you see the way the guy took it so that's why i started by people have their diverse god it could be that that's the way he is but all i i think is sean should have explained to her say no you don't do that i don't have to do it if i want to do it i do it but let it not be like you're the one ordering me to do it and that's just what i'm seeing here which the still need some time to understand themselves and i don't know if sean is doing all this because of victoria i don't even know how far he's trying to get back to her yeah because at least now is better than this week is better than last week but i can also see that 
Victoria and Suge. Victoria walked out on Suge <laughs> last night, but just today, I'm just seeing a difference. So, like, guys, I don't really know exactly, okay? I don't really know exactly. I want to just talk about that when I want to tell you guys what's, uh, what this girl said about Suge. So, after listening to Toyosi, I don't even think I would want to say, oh, Victoria with Suge, because it appears Suge is just moving one kind of way, which is the same thing this guy mentioned, Um, that's uh, Mayor Frosh, okay? But here we are dealing with Sean and Wani. I just feel it's going to pass. It's just um transient. It's going to pass. To me, that's what I feel. But if they want to, like, you know, magnify it, make it look like something very serious that, and break up... Mm that's their own the game is just starting they have a whole long time to go so you guys that's just it that's just what happened okay we didn't see when it happened but from his sister from her sister sorry we got to know that oh something actually happened and for sean to sleep all alone last night i know i even asked him mm, that made me it's not making more sense to me why he was alone last night so you guys if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel spicy updates with lovely on please subscribe watch my videos like the video so that others can see it too we are still coming up but we we'll never tell now from um all stars so now we start to hey <laughs> you guys please uh, subscribe to the youtube channel even if you can't see my notification just search spicy updates with lovely on for all your big brother updates okay i'll definitely see you guys in the next one thank you bye